Hello, it's Angela from Angela's Crafty Space, and welcome to my crafty space. Today, I'm going to show you <clears throat> that I finished the library pockets that I was working on. This is the one I did on camera. I added a stamp, which leads me to our next project, which is the purpose of this video. Um, after I show you these, I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> So there was that one. All these were made with Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda's printables. And, um, yeah. And then I put a stamp on each one. And then well, that led me to wanting to organize my stamps. So I have all my stamps here in their containers. And I made a little book using... Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo does printables as well. Um, I had this file folder laying around forever and I had done some stenciling on it. <clears throat> really liked the stenciling so I didn't want to get rid of it. So I made it into my little stamp catalog. So I already started putting my birds and butterflies in it but then I had all these other stamps I wanted to organize before I put in them. And then it opens like this on this side. Yeah, <clears throat> so I have that little stamp book, and then what I used for the pockets are these cute little um, clear label-like um, things, and they have like a slit in the front, so you can put your um, print, your cutouts in there. So they're about four and a half inches long by about an inch and a quarter high, so they're perfect for stamps, and that's exactly what I used here for the pockets so no need to cut um plastic to make your pockets and sew and all that crazy stuff you just buy these on amazon they stick to your page they're they're removable even and it works great so very easily done if you'd like a video on that how i made that book i'll be more than happy to make one but for now we're going to organize my stamps so this is a mess, this stamp, for sure. So I wanna start with these. And I kinda wanna do them by um, color versus by what's on them, like butterfly, whatever. Cause a lot of these ones from this envelope that I just emptied out onto my desk have the envelope attached to them still. Oh yeah, I have a video on how I did this cute little like tag stamp thing. <clears throat> Here's another one. Yeah, those came out cute. I really like those. Um, here's some mushroom stamps that are already organized. These are neutral colored stamps. What's in here? These are just like various odds and ends stamps. Bug stamps. These are like, I don't even know. <laughs> so that's why I need to organize my stamps because they are a mess. And then I have all these gorgeous little tag stamp things that I made that I need to use on projects. And I forget that they're in there because this is such a mess. So I guess what we can do is cut around these because there's no way we're going to get them off this paper so let's cut around them and i like it when they have the postage um, marks on them like this one has the swirlies on it this one has you know the postage mark so we don't want to mess that up and I also have my own stamps. I can make postal marks, so it's not that big of a deal. So, so yeah. Those are more recent stamps. Like this Jimi Hendrix is a more recent stamp. I put it on some um, index card because it was coming off its paper and it was still sticky on the back. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need to organize, not just cut around. Okay, so this one is like a neutral color, 
right? So I'm going to put this in a stack for neutral colors. <clears throat> and then we're also going to have a stack for like blue, red, Christmas, um, like that one's like a bluish purple. Here's another bluish purple. And then we have a blue one here and an orange one. So I'll make a blue stack, an orange stack, because I know I have quite a few orange ones as well. Yeah, I'll just make a blue purple. How about that? We'll combine the two colors. Let's see, what's this one here? This one is like a neutral color. These are all Christmas. <clears throat> am I in camera over there? Yeah, I am. Okay. So those are Christmas. And then here's another orange one. And a couple red ones. So we'll make an orange stack and a red stack. Because sometimes you need a certain color stamp and then you got to fiddle through all your different designs to find a color. This way I'm going to have some by color, some by design, and holiday ones separate. Okay. Some more red. And actually those, yeah. Those will be fine as red. Oh, here's a black and white one. And here's a blue one. Um, I do have some black and white ones. I just bought a whole pack of black and white stamps. So that's awesome. So I'm going to keep those. These are also black and white. <clears throat> this one here is going to be a purple. Here's another blue. So if we can just tear that. Blue, blue. And who is he? John Steinbeck. Looks familiar. I think he might be an actor or something. W.C. Fields, Performing Arts, USA. Oh, what am I doing? Blue. Okay, those are all blue. What do we want to do with this one? Because um, it's got red and purple. I think this one needs to go in the... Let's put him in the red because there's more red than purple. Because even his tie is red on the purple suit. So, all right, these are neutral. And we're going to put those in our neutral stack. Here's a blue one, it's an orange one. So yeah, basically I just need to go through all my stamps, I need to do this, and I thought I would turn the camera on and take you guys along with me. So this might be one of a, a, a little bit longer of a video than usual, but we're going to see how far we can get. And then maybe we'll even get some put in our book. So that's going to be a green stack because I see a bunch of green ones here. Um, yeah, they're going to come right off. Well, this one's coming off, so this one not so much, so we will cut her off. And let's see about these. No, we'll just trim it up. It'll be a foursome. All right. This one is our neutral, so I'm just going to trim around it real quick. Let's see if we can get these to separate. Yep. I have a lot of that guy. There's another one of these orange ones. I wonder where this one's from. Can I tell? It's definitely foreign. I'm going to say, I think it says Egypt. 
I think it says Egyptian on there, which makes sense because it's got like a Egyptian kind of postage mark on it, I would guess. I think I'm going to leave this postage mark on here because it's so cool. I don't want to cut it off. All right, what do we got here? We got purple. I think it's going to come right off. No, it's not. <clears throat> It's not, it's not. So we're going to cut it off. Who is she? Uh, I'm not sure. This is a red one. It's like a reddish purple, but we're going to put it in the red. All right. These are so interesting looking, too. Some of these, like, these are kind of older. I can't see any post dates on them though. But I know for a fact they're older because I can just tell the, the envelopes that they're on are like almost disintegrating. They're so old. Here's a neutral one 1940 something is the postmark for that one. See, 194, and then it cut off. So yeah, I thought these were pretty old. I'm going to leave that on there because it shows how old it is. I'm not going to cut that postmark off. But I am going to trim up around it. Alright. We're getting quite the stacks going on over here. Get my trash out of my stamps. Alright, here's a purple one. This is Edith Wharton. Edith Wharton. It's a USA. And here we have a Bicentennial Lafayette and Frank Lloyd Wright. Those are going to go into the black and white. And then this one will go in the purple. Here's a blue one. Which again, it has a beautiful postage so I'm just going to leave that attached. I'm just going to trim around it a little bit. It's going to go in our blue. Here's this one. It's got like double envelope conundrum going on here. Is that blue or is that green? That's blue. All right. Blue it is. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. And I thank you all for reaching out and supporting Tina in her time of need. That um, I'm sure we've all made her very happy. She did come on and make a brief statement about all the help that she had received. But she didn't go into details. And she's probably not, you guys. She's probably not going to go into details about how much help she received and all that because of the divorce she's going through. And all that would be public knowledge and it could cause problems. So we want to just try to support her without knowing that we're supporting her. I mean, we know we're supporting her, but I mean, not knowing how much we've helped. I think because if she makes that public it could cause issues with the divorce um yeah we'll do black and white for that one oh look at these I think I'm gonna put these in the neutral because well then I would have put that one in the neutral too these are definitely purple where they're gonna go in the purple I wonder if I can get them apart, though. Yeah. Okay. Purple stack is getting big. There's another purple. We might have to s separate blue and purple. I didn't realize there was going to be so many. So that'll be a subcategory that we'll go back through and fix. No, that one's a yellow one. That's our first yellow, that one that we've gotten. Okay. 
This one is Venezuela. And I'm going to put that in the red. Here's an orange one. I'm trying to see if that says Iran. No, it doesn't. It says ban something. Might be another Egyptian stamp. Sometimes these foreign ones are very hard to know what country they're, they originated from. And the person that I got these stamps from, their parent or somebody was in the armed forces. So they traveled a lot. And apparently she had been collecting these from her childhood, hence the 1949. Um, so they go back quite a ways for sure. And a lot of these I've never seen, so they're actually quite quite cool to look at. Oh, that one's got some paint or something on it. Let's get these orange ones. These are kind of brown, but I'm going to go with orange. And then this green one. And then we have that purple one with a little bit of paint on it. <clears throat> Okay, and here's a bunch of green ones. Let's see if we can get some of this envelope off of here. Oh, oh these bottom ones want to come off. So let's get those off. And let's see if we can't tear these. There we go. All right, break them down into a more manageable size. There's a little tiny something or other crawling around there. Um, I'm going to leave it on here for structural support because it was coming off the back, but I think it's going to be real flimsy when it does. Yeah. So that might have to get glued back on. What would this one be though? Black and white? All right. Here we got an orange, a red, and a deeper red. Here's some flags. There's a purple one. What's this one? The American Woman. Huh. Interesting. Another flag. What do we got here? Here's some 19, looks like 1950 something postage stamps. Doesn't say though on them, but uh, definitely from the pictures, it looks like the 1950s, 60s, maybe. Those are cool. This one I'm gonna put in the oranges. Oh, look at this one with the big orange light. Um, but I'm gonna put that in green. These I'm gonna put in black and white. I already have a set in black and white. This one is going to go in the red. Ooh, what's this one all about? Oh, it looks like a vase. Pablo art. Yeah, that's going to go in the red. Christmas. Flag. Um, we're going to put that in neutrals. It's another flag. Here's another black and white one if we can get this blue envelope off of it all right oh, here's a blue one try to get away with the garbage let's make sure I don't have any more in the garbage it's a red one here's another red one here's a floral one
All right, get rid of some of this garbage. Okay. This one's going to go in the neutral. So is this one. Let's trim around it. All right, we're almost done here. We've got through this faster than I thought we would. Let's see where we're at time-wise, and then we'll put some in our book, and then we'll call it a video, and I'll finish it up by myself. I just wanted to bring you guys along for a minute in the process on this rainy Saturday afternoon here in sunny South Florida, Pompano Beach, Florida, to be exact. My hometown, born and raised. All right, what do we got here? We got another neutral and another neutral. This one looks like the queen. It's hard to tell, but I think it is the queen. Well, the Queen Elizabeth II, who's passed away now. Yeah. She was up there. She's 90-something years old. I forget exactly. 95, maybe? 96, something like that. I don't think anybody expected her to live much longer after um, her husband passed away. Prince Philip. So... I know I really didn't because they were married for so long. I was surprised she lasted as long as she did, to be honest. They were definitely a forever love story. It's very romantic. He gave up a lot to walk three steps behind her his whole life, that's for sure. All right, there's another flower one. Yeah, sometimes they peel right off, and other times they don't. So, got to be careful. Again. All right, we got through that whole batch. I mean, I have more in here. Let me see what time it is. 22. Okay. Let's go ahead and start putting some of these in our book. And I think I want to separate blues and purples now. So, let's do that real quick. Purple... Blue, 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 purple. I think I'm going to put these in neutral now that I think about it. And that one. Blue. Well, I put this one in green. That's really blue. Blue, purple, blue, blue. Well, that could be black and white, too. Blue, blue, purple. That could definitely be neutral. Blue, blue, purple. Okay. These are our reds. These are orange. These are the green ones. All right. And a yellow one. All right. Let's bring back our little book that we have here. All right. What we want to do here. So let's use this one. Can you see that? Not really. Okay. Well, we're going to have to bring the stamps down here to the bottom of the screen so I can get the book in shot. Let's see. That's pretty good. All right. So let's start putting these in. See how many we can get in one slot here. Oh, we got them all in one. Yeah, there wasn't too many of the black and white ones. I do have a whole envelope full of black and white ones, though, so...
I'm gonna leave a couple spaces. I think I'll leave that page for the black and white ones. All right, let's go on to this page. Actually, let's move on to this page and let's put our red ones. I've been wanting to get my stamps organized forever. Because when they're not organized, you don't really want to use them. Because you got to dig through it all the time to find the one you want. And it, no one wants to wait for you to dig through everything to find the one you're looking for. When you can just open up a little book and, and be there, right? All right, next color. So we got black and white. We got red. Let's do green next. I might even put the orange ones up here. We'll see. So let's do the green next. Yeah, these little pockets are perfect size for postage stamps. For sure. Okay, there's all our green ones. Okay, flip the page. And I think I'm going to put the orange one and the yellow one. I think they'll fit up here. I could be wrong. I might need a... Yeah, no, there is a lot. So let's just put the yellow one up there. No, I'll put the yellow with the orange. Let's give it the orange its own page. Yellow up there. Okay. A lot of these orange ones are the same. Okay, now we got blue and we got purple. Let's do purple down here because there's not too many of them. Well, that looks blue. I'm going to put that with the blue. Oh, we didn't put the blue in yet? Alright, I'm putting that with the blue. Alright. One little line for that. Alright, next let's do the tan or the neutral colored stamps. These are always so fun to play with. I'd love to do a collage of nothing but postage stamps. And I think by organizing them will help me to do that collage because then I can choose colors and different designs and things like that. All right. These are all floral, so we'll put those into the floral. These are Christmas, and these are the blue ones. So, we need a page for the blue. Do we use up all our pages? No. Right here. Let's put the blue ones on this page. And then that is our book filled up, for the most part. And then... Um... We still got a lot more stamps to go through yet, so. All 
All right. All right, I'm going to call that a video. Thank you guys for helping me organize a little bit. I appreciate it. I know looking at stamps is fun for me too. So um, I'm going to continue on working and getting these sorted. But I just want to get on and say hello. And, and um, I guess I didn't make a floral page. Maybe up here will be my florals. And just, um, yeah, show you what I was up to on this rainy, sunny beautiful day in South Florida. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.